Have you ever walked into a vineyard and the ground is a lot wetter than you expect it to be? Somebody left the pump on. It happens a lot more frequently than we'd like to admit. I'm Tom Chaplin, the co-founder and CEO of Tuli, and today I'm excited to share with you our new push notification feature. You now receive push notifications that tell you when a pump has been running for a longer period than you expect. Here's what the push notification looks like on your iPhone. Push notification says a long irrigation has been detected at block one and that the water has been running for 23 hours. You set the trigger for when you receive a push notification for each of your blocks. To set the trigger for when you receive a push notification for each of your blocks, we have to go to the web app. Here is the Thule web app. At the top right, you will see your name. We're going to click on your name and a drop down menu appears. We're next going to click on notification settings. On the notification settings page, you can set the interval for the irrigation interval push notification, and you can also set the trigger for the long irrigation push notification. Let's click on the long irrigation settings tab. We need now see a list of blocks. If you want to turn off the long irrigation push notification for one of your blocks, you click the checkbox next to enabled. We've now turned off the push notification for EV4. If you want to enable push notifications for all of your blocks, you can click Enable All. There are two aspects to the push notification setting. The first is a date range. This is the time of year when you would like to receive push notifications about long irrigation events. The second element is the amount of time that the pump has been running after which you would like to receive a push notification. By default, we've set that to 24 hours for wine grapes. It's longer for tree nuts. If you want to change that date range when you receive push notifications for long pump run times, click on the calendar and we're going to change this from starting on May 1st to starting on May 2nd. We're going to keep the end date as is and I want to change the time period over which I received my push notification from 24 hours to 30 hours. Or 13 hours. I'm going to keep it at 13 hours because I like it there and I intended to set it that way. Now I'm going to apply this setting to all my sensors as a shortcut and I'm going to click save. We now see that the push notification for all of my blocks is set between May 2nd and September 21st, and I will receive a push notification if the pump has been on for more than 13 hours. These push notifications are only available for vineyards and tree crops, and the sensor in the field has to be our latest version of the hardware. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.